Hey guys, D-Mike here, hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sunday's Mega Man X2. Last time, we took on the Morph Moth I've been practicing, along with Viola, and today we're headed to the central computer, and we're going to fight the Magnus Centipede and a bonus sub-boss. Hopefully you're excited for that. If you are, like this video, comment, and subscribe. I wrote some notes for myself. And it says, really tough stage and four bosses. So here we go. That'll be a treat. I'm actually finding myself becoming more comfortable with using some of the items from the bosses in these stages. Usually when I play, oops, when I play these Mega Man games, I don't. So I'm kind of impressed with myself. We're growing as a Mega Man Xer, okay? So, there are these spotlights that you're supposed to, I guess, in terms of, like, lore, you're supposed to avoid them. But I'm not going to do that, because the prize that you get is usually a health drop, which is really nice. And we're going to need as much health as possible, trying to fight four separate bosses. This stage is pretty unforgiving, unfortunately. So the goal was to not take much damage, and I kind of uh, forgot about that part. Hello. Hello. Come out of your shell. Yeah, you're going to want to try to avoid damage there if you can and blow up as many of the blocks as possible. These purple ones are something that you can destroy. And the silk shot is pretty good at getting rid of them, but just be mindful of the fact that you're going to need that. Needs that. I needs it. You're going to need it for the Magna Centipede as the boss of this stage. Whoa, hello. You tried to crush me. But yeah, they give pretty decent health drops, so just take your time. This is a stage that kind of feels like you should be rushing through it, but you don't really have to. Just got to make sure that you're not getting crushed. The only crush you're allowed to have is on me, viewers. All right. So we'll let the, let the, bleh, let the body sit the floor and just hop out of the way. All right, that is a big old hole. I believe that there is like a heart tank or a sub tank up there, but we can't get that yet because we don't have the proper tools. We are not equipped. You cannot ride that bicycle inside. All right, so here we go. Here is an example of the Super Nintendo Super FX chip with his super cool sword. They were probably really proud of this when they made it. And honestly, like, I'm impressed. I'm like, I, I couldn't do this. I don't know how to do it. I think this sword is weak to maybe the bubble crabs item, the bubble blaster, whatever it's called. But you can only do damage to the base, the hilt of the sword. As you can see, I'm trying to shoot it. Not the easiest thing to do. Also, should probably not be taking damage, but you can shoot right through it for the most part. Not too bad. But yeah, pretty impressive for the time. I mean, this was 1990 whatever, so good for them. All right, so coming out of that fight, hopefully you have Full health. I'm gonna sneak right past you. Weren't see you. Weren't see you. And then we're gonna go down this side. All right. It doesn't really matter what you do here, but what matters is that you do this specific way. Um, just kind of dash as fast as you can. I'm literally just hitting the dash over and over again. And prepare yourself for what is going to amount to a very poopy fight that annoys me a lot. So. Here is the sub-boss. Very sneaky. Ugh, I don't love it. I have done a little bit of it. I just did this specifically, not this stage. So I have a little bit of experience with this bozo. Here we go. Welcome, X. Your destruction is at hand. Well, what a cool thing. Yeah, he kind of has like the, uh, the Sigma... The Sigma Katana Sword Laser Beam. I'm doing really poorly already. Um, so his big thing is that he likes to send these shock waves at you. We don't have the ability to dash in the air yet, which sucks. So I kind of just have to climb up the wall and try to bait him into doing it. Which would work well if I wasn't taking damage in the process. But that's just kind of it. You can dash through it, which is nice. 
but you have to be facing it at the same time. Like, uh, not like that. And he also does this move. I really don't like it. Where he kind of does his little scrambly back and forth across the stage. He usually does it back and forth twice. Yeah, not a huge fan of this guy. This fight is really annoying. I'm going to go ahead and use my sub tank. I got most of it filled. So that gives me half health. I'm okay with that. But remember, I still have to do an entire two other fights. So, so what is nice though is we're using the speed burner, and it does have a little bit of residual damage that it does to him. All right, one more should do it. There we go. I got a little bit of it left. I may have failed, but you will never live to see zero. Coke zero. We get. We get it. We did it. Zero part number three. All right. So that's all three of the sub bosses diminished. I don't know collectively how that impacts the story. I also thought I was gonna get warped out of here, but I'm not. So I guess I'm just gonna climb the walls here. I think this is gonna lead us right into another fight. <laughs> oh boy, it's a robot, whoa. This might be a situation where I need to use my uh Oh, I can't, I can't hit him anywhere. Okay, I thought I was only able to hit him in the eyeballs. Alright, that's not too tough to dodge, but... Kind of makes some Chrono trigger -y sounds. I always wonder whenever you whenever you see games like this, and obviously, you know, every studio is their own thing, but, you know, when you hear sounds in these games that are kind of iconic, doesn't it ever make you wonder if they ever shared those sounds? Like they're all just hanging out on whatever their version of Skype was. Probably, like... I don't know. No idea, but... I said Skype. Discord? Do people use Skype anymore? Dating myself. Alright. We got a little bit left to do. Ooh, I should get my silk shot out. Oh! <laughs> Oops! What a blockhead I am, huh? Yeah, this is gonna be, uh... Hopefully not a continuance of a problem, because... I would like to be done with this. Also, this is all that I'm doing today, by the way. Ooh. Hello. Please do not crush me. Whoa. The floor is falling. Ooh, this is this it? It's going to be a short episode today, viewers. I might go back and grab one of the bonus things. Here is the Magnus Centipede. You will want Silk Shot for this, by the way. See that nasty tail that he's got? So it's kind of like a ninja. So yeah, once you once you hit him with the uh All right. I'm not a fan of you, sir. Whoa. Once you hit him with the silk shot, everything just kind of becomes a bit of a war of attrition. You going to come down here and fight me like a real bug? Come on. It's kind of tough to hit him from up here or down here, I should say. Or I said up. Clearly he is not it is not up. Please stop. All right. I'm not liking my odds here. I'm running out of silk shot and I'm playing like a dingus. This is one of those weaknesses that, like, it is, you know, it obviously is the weakness because you saw it just rip its tail off. But also, it's not doing a ton of damage, so that's cool. All right. Let's get a fresh start. I barely have any silk shot, so that's cool, right? Who needs it? I mean, I just have to have enough to rip its tail off. And I do. So, we'll just be patient. I think my problem is I was relying on it a little bit too much. Alright, so let's get over there and... Whoop, there we go, and then... I'm actually going to show you this attack, because I haven't done it yet. It's the Giga Crush. I think this does like two hits of damage or something. This might be actually pretty effective too, because he's on the ceiling. And it does float to the top, which is kind of neat. Just got to kind of guess where he's going to be, I suppose. Does not really go very high though. Oh, now you come down. I see how it is. Okay. Now, you don't really have a lot of options, unfortunately. Um, Speedburner kind of works because. Well, it did if I would have had some of it. Now I do not. Um, 
it does work just because of it being a lateral attack, of course, which is nice. I like its battle stance, though. It's kind of neat. I said that I was going to do other things, but I might just be preoccupied with this. This fight's kind of tough. I'm not doing a good job of... Taking care of my health. Whew. Yeah, this is rough. Rough McGruff. Okay. One more try. I don't have any Silk Shot, though, do I? Oh, I have a little bit. I only used... Whew. I was going to be really concerned if I didn't have any. Because this fight is even harder... I mean, it's already a tough fight, so... There we go. Let's see if I can use more of it. In the meantime, just to... Get as much out of that as I can. Is it Bubble Splash? Is that what it's called? Yeah, this is not an easy fight. Give me, like, my chill penguins of the world. Give me those, boys. I'm gonna kinda like try to bait it a little bit. Master of debate. You can kinda just like jive back and forth before it gets set. And then you can hit it. I'm not trying to cheese this fight, but I would like to finish this today. Cause I don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. So you can get a fully charged buster in there. Just about. I think if you can get lucky and you just gotta kinda wiggle around before he gets set on the ceiling. I don't know if this changes throughout the course of the fight or if the game is just messing with me. This is not ideal though. Come on, come to the ground. Pants on the ground. Oops. Wrong button. Oops, definitely wrong button there. Rot dagger. This is a war of attrition, viewers, alright? Don't get too comfortable here. We're battling our buns off. Just need to make sure I don't hit the wrong button, and my controller is... The buttons are a little sticky, so... And you're like, why? And like, don't worry about it. We're doing fine. Alright. My big thing is that I'm not dashing using the A button. I was using the... I was double tapping the directional pad. That was what my problem was. Ooh, but that's five-eighths of the way through the bosses. I don't know if we get a special cutscene now because we got all the zero parts, or if that's like an end-of-the-game kind of a thing. Who knows? It would be cool, but I... I'm not getting my hopes up. Ooh, look at us. It's like yellow and gray. It's kind of a nice combo. You got Magnet Mine, which I believe is actually the weakness for... Agile, but that doesn't matter. Oh, here we go, cutscene, like I said. We did it. I can try to reactivate Zero to help, but I need more time. I'm assuming he kind of sounds like uh, Master Roshi. Before you can reinstall this control chip, you try to slow them down. Man, I already did. What are you talking about? Grandpa. I did my best. And there's my code if you want it. All right. So now all three of those special hunters have been dispatched, which is great. And then I think going forward from here, I don't know which of what's like the boss order that I need to follow next, but what I'm going to try to do is with the three remaining Mavericks, I'm going to go and do a stage and then I'm going to go back and go and do like a little collect-a-thon so that way I'm not collecting all the parts at once and making that kind of boring. So I'll do stage, then I'll go get like a heart tank, sub tank. I might get a couple of them depending upon how easily I'm able to do that and how long this takes me to do. But that's kind of going to be the the rhythm, the motion of the ocean as we go forward. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with some Mega Man X2. I'll catch you next time. Bye.